Since its inception, the UN system has been working to ensure adequate food for all through sustainable agriculture. The majority of the world's poorest people live in rural areas of developing countries. They depend on agriculture and related activities for their livelihoods. This makes them particularly vulnerable to man-made and natural influences that reduce agricultural production. Kinderman says he thinks the compound could be a win-win for the planet and the animals. You know the methane is kind of a waste product, and this energy, instead of losing it for the animal, it can be reused for the animal in terms of performance, and at the same time we are doing something for greenhouse gas emission and climate change. The product has not on the market yet, toxicology tests are ongoing. By this time, however, paleontological momentum had moved to England, in 1812, at Lyme Regis on the Dorset coast, an extraordinary child named Marianning aged 11, 12 or 13. Depending on whose account you read found a strange fossilized sea monster, 17 feet long and now known as the Ichthyosaurus, embedded in the steep and 17 dangerous cliffs along the English Channel.
it seems that language appeared from nowhere since no other species has anything resembling human language. However, other animals do possess basic systems for perceiving and producing sounds that enable them to communicate. These systems may have been in place before the appearance of language. The best comparison is likely a magnetar, a young neutron star with a powerful magnetic field, the researchers said. Magnetars also produce bright X-ray flares. While magnetars are thought to be young stars, the two flaring objects in this study reside near elliptical galaxies, which contain older stars. So the objects are likely too old to be magnetars, the researchers said. The curriculum enhances the general management program with health-related courses, Dr. Schulman says. Required courses include healthcare in the 21st century and the economics and strategy of health sector management. Students may also take electives such as medical device commercialization, healthcare marketing and the economics and management of the pharmaceutical industry.
If bonus or incentive-based schemes work so well for chief executive and bankers, why does everyone not get them? After all, many jobs involve making important decisions or taking risks. Is there anything about corporate decision and financial risks that makes these categories of work special in terms of how they need to be incentivized and rewarded? This is what needs to happen on climate change. The world needs to put a price on carbon emissions and let the market respond. If politicians pretend this can be done without pain, it will probably result in another 5 to 10 years of pretending to take action. In classes, your teachers will talk about topics that you are studying. The information that they provide will be important to know when you take tests. You must be able to take good written notes from what your teachers say.
Major breeding areas and breeding islands are shown as dark green areas or darts. Open darts are shown no breeding records on islands and are also used for offshore sightings that is from ships or boats. Other areas where species are not meant to be seen are plain pale green with pale green hatching where records are usually sparse. So, as much as this is a book about the experience of traveling, the contemplation of cities that are vast in scale and villages that are as remote and strange as anything Westerners are ever likely to encounter, it is also a book that tries to describe another kind of journey. Much of what people do today disguises a desperate search for meaning, the result of the crisis of belief that has become a major problem of the Western world. On the one hand, the elites and their high culture suffer a loss of confidence, and aimless consumerism is widespread. On the other, powerful new myths arise, as with the sporting heroes.
programming is the art of expressing solutions to problems so that a computer can execute those solutions. Much of the effort in programming is spent finding and refining solutions. Often, a problem is only fully understood through the process of programming a solution for it. The definition of a disaster varies by organization. Various entities have different pain thresholds that define when an incident becomes a disaster. A bank, for example, will have different criteria than a poison control hotline. With this fact in mind, any organization should begin the process of implementing first alert and response teams after it has completed a business impact analysis. Margaret Simons explains the changes taking place in the Australian media. She analyzes audiences, our major media organizations, the role of government, and the implications of all these for our society and our democracy. Her examination leads her to the conclusion that the challenges facing the content providers in the modern world are part of a broader striving, a very old struggle, we might call it the search for meaning.
Today's technological market is dominated by two contrasting business models, the generative and the non-generative models the PCs. Windows and Macs of this world, allow third parties to build upon and share through them. The non-generative models is more restricted. Appliances might work well, but the only entity that can change the way they operate is the vendor. Never has the world of journalism been so explosive, so global, and so competitive. Forget hourly news flashes, we live in a world of 24-hour breaking news with radio and TV stations and internet sites updating stories by the minute and newspapers adjusting to stay fresh, in-depth, and relevant. Karl Marx is arguably the most famous political philosopher of all time, but he was also one of the great foreign correspondents of the 19th century. During his 11 years writing for the New York Tribune, their collaboration began in 1852, Marx tackled an abundance of topics from issues of class and the state of world affairs.
When buying a house, for example, it's best to let our unconscious mull over the many variables. But when we're picking stocks and shares, intuition often leads us astray. The trick is to determine when to lean on which part of the brain, and to do this, we need to think harder and smarter about how we think.